Hi everybody, I hope you're well and looking after yourselves. It's a very potent time at the moment, as most of you I'm sure who are watching this are aware. I get a lot of requests and people asking for me questions about what is actually going on, what they can do, and, and how things are likely to turn out. Now, I'm not saying that I have all the answers, but as a channel and a psychic and a transformational teacher, I do revert to key principles when I share the information and knowledge that I have to help people make the best decisions. So first of all, let me just say, yes, astrologically and energetically, we are going through an even greater change at the moment than we've experienced for a long, long time. It's a real build up at the moment to that date, the 21st of December, 2020, which is an astrologically powerful, powerful date with the solstice and lots of other things that are happening in the heavens. Now, I'm not an astrologer, but I know quite a bit about it. And so I just act intuitively and I know and I feel and I can see with my clients every day what is going on. The challenges that people have are quite obvious. Um, what I wanted to say, first of all, is at this time of great challenge, what's really important for everybody is to stay grounded and to take care. So, for example, at the moment, I'm not drinking alcohol. I'm giving everything a break. and I'm taking extra special care at the moment to have the right nutrition, to get the right amount of sleep and to really take care of myself physically so that I'm as aligned and congruent as I can be um, in these times of challenge. And I would encourage you all to do the same. Make sure that you're eating really good nutritious food. I personally recommend superfoods. Um, take care of your the way you operate and your thinking and also avoid the mainstream media narrative. Now, I do dip in from time to time just to see what the other side is saying. But one thing I do know, and I know this, and I've been saying this for decades, actually, but more than ever, most people now, or a huge proportion of people can see and agree with me that actually, you know, the mainstream media is not get an actual perfect arbiter of the truth. Far from it. It's not a reflection of the greater perspective or the, the, the 5D reality which we're moving towards. It is in fact managed and owned by big media corporations who do have an agenda. Now it's quite interesting because I was watching, I don't really watch TV very often, but I did have a look at the uh, the Jeffrey Epstein uh, series on Netflix. Um, and it's fascinating actually because it demonstrates how people in positions of great power and great wealth or have been historically able to manipulate things spectacularly in their favour. Um, it's, a, it's a horror story, actually. I deal with people who've been abused daily. I know how awful it can be, how awful it is, and, and the repercussions, how awful they can be. So it was a particular interest to me from a professional perspective. Um, and it was shocking, actually, to see how somebody with money and power was able to infiltrate and affect change with people like the FBI, with magazines like Vanity Fair from Condé Nast and lots of other um, influencers that were used negatively <clears throat> or used to manipulate outcomes. And we, even though there was tons and tons of evidence against this horrible fraudster and paedophile, he was able to get away with it for decades. Now, that idea, um, for, I also translate to what is going on at the moment. Now, I try not to be too political, um, but I personally do feel that uh, in America in particular, there is one human being that is standing up against the new world order. He's definitely not a perfect character. He's quite flawed. But I do believe that Donald Trump, for all his flaws and history, is somebody who is actually standing up against the globalist tyranny and the new world order uh, and the subjugation against our freedoms, which has grown at an alarming rate. Now, a lot of people are asking me about this. What I do say to everybody is just trust things are gonna get better and do your best in your own way every day to share your feelings and your information, whether it's on social media, I know it's censored a lot at the moment, whether it's in conversation with your friends, your family, your work colleagues, other light workers or people that you mix with, Share with them how you feel because you will find, 
as I'm finding, on a daily basis, even with the neighbor, even with the, the guy at the restaurant, even with just people in the street, people are waking up and recognizing more than ever before that actually the media's uh, reflection of things is not accurate. And in fact, you know, there is, just because the media say this is gonna happen or that's gonna happen, doesn't mean it is. Personally, personally, I still believe Donald Trump will have another four years. Whether he does or not, I'm not gonna give my power away to that outcome. In other words, if he, the chances were massively reduced, I'm not gonna get massively upset. I teach mastery, and mastery is the next point I wanna come on to. Mastery, my friends, is when we take control and we manage our own thoughts, our own feelings and our emotions. We don't give our power away. Now, I will make this, I uh, would explain very clearly that when we master our own emotions, it doesn't mean to say we become a sociopath or a narcissist. Narcissists and sociopaths don't feel. I'm an empath and I work with a lot of empaths and I teach them how to manage their natural, empathic, compassionate natures in a way that they don't lose energy, the way that they don't drain energy. And as I said earlier, the, the one of the things, the key things to do is to have great nutrition, have excellent sleep, keep your environment and space clear, keep your light body clear and work with energy because we are moving into something that a lot of people are talking about and I will use their narrative, their description also, <clears throat> moving from a 3D perspective to a 5D perspective. I understand this because I've been operating through what we might loosely call a 5D perspective for some years now. And that has given me unique powers. Um, I say unique, it's not gonna be just to me, but I've had powers that lots of others haven't yet had and it doesn't make me, make me better than them. But their powers of psychic awareness, their powers of energetic transmission, and their powers of healing, first of all myself, to clear my own negative emotions where I've held them historically, like we all have, to clear any neurosis, pain, coagulated dissonance in the field, we call this karma. Um, and when we learn to work with these higher energies and open up the light body, it is possible, okay, to, in my opinion, and from my own experience, to end the diseased states that we've been in. So the movement will be away, <clears throat> this is what, <clears throat> away from vaccinations, away from dependency on health services, um, because when we, won't, when we won't, don't get ill, we're not going to need the health service. We're not going to need drugs. If we can learn to manage, monitor and recalibrate and resurrect ourselves, so to speak, into an expanded energetic awareness and an expanded light body position, then literally we detox and we purge at an unprecedented rate. When that happens, there may be a temporary transition. Some people call this a healing crisis. There may be times, and I've experienced it many times, where we purge ourselves of things. Maybe it's physical toxins. It might be emotional toxins, mental thoughts that aren't relevant anymore or superfluous to our highest evolution. Or people, situations in our lives that no longer resonate with the higher vibration that we will carry when we move into the 5D perspective. Now, what is happening now is something I've talked about literally for decades. And what's happening, I'm so happy to say, is that en masse, we are entering another tipping point where people are waking up to a new reality, to new personal power and abilities. And in that process, there's lots of unusual phenomena that you might experience. If it happens, don't worry, don't get in fear. As I say, maintain yourself by getting out in nature as much as you can, walking in parks, hanging out with trees, <laughs> hanging out by water, hanging out by the sea, getting out in the fresh air, taking long walks, discharging yourself from tykes, for, from static and toxins that may have built up in your field and doing your best to stay connected to the earth. Great nutrition, lots of very really clean water, lots of detoxing, salt baths, I recommend Himalayan salt baths. All of these things will help keep you in tip-top shape as these changes accelerate up to and beyond the 21st of December. So again, my friends, I will say to you, this is a time of unprecedented challenge, change, and it's exciting. Don't worry, stay in the heart, turn off the mainstream media, don't buy into all that negative narrative, 
And you know, when it comes to things like the COVID situation, when it comes to mask wearing and all that kind of stuff, my own personal uh, opinion of it is masks don't really work, certainly not in general. Um, they may have some benefits in, in enclosed spaces, but I think it's much worse to not be able to breathe properly. It's much worse not to be able to express oneself. And it's much worse to have a symbol around one's face that is subjugating us and making us feel unconsciously, if not consciously, silenced. My work is about giving people a voice, allowing people to speak and share what they really feel and open up. This time is a time for opening. We have a choice, my friends. Do we want to give our power away to the state? Do we want to be reliant on a vaccine or on pharmaceutical drugs or on, on, a, on an ever ending carousel of vaccines to keep us steady and safe? Or do we want to empower ourselves and move beyond the transhumanism that is promised by some, some people, move beyond those ideas of transhumanism, i.e. we become connected to a machine and move into an expanded organic crystalline awareness, which has been talked about many much as the 5D ascension process. Well, the choice is yours, my friends, and we all can resist the impositions by intelligent, non-compliance to rules that don't feel right. If something doesn't feel right to me, I don't do it, or I find a way around doing it that makes my life safe. That's what I recommend to you. I did it at 13 years old. I don't know why, but for some reason, intuitively, I chose not to have the vaccine that all the kid, other kids had in the school. I haven't had an airborne disease, a flu, a cold, or anything like that, for 18 years, in fact, nearly 19 years. It was February 2002 was the last time I had the flu. I haven't had it since, I haven't had a cold since, um, because I lear I've i learned to work with energy, work with good nutrition, and I can literally banish any virus or, or negative imp 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 imposition on my field instantaneously. But to do that and to maintain that, I have to keep myself strong, my mind strong, my body strong, my energy strong. And I teach people how they also can do that. If you're interested, please contact me. Maybe you'd be interested in coming to one of my workshops, or one of my trainings where I give real, practical, pragmatic solutions. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate it. It does help me. And if you need any other help, just contact me. Remember, stay in your power, stay grounded, trust better times are ahead for us all. The new world order will not win, provided you stand up and claim your sovereignty and your power at this monumental crossroads in humanity's evolution. I believe in you. You can do it. We can do it. Have a great day.